Hi everyone, this is Gleeza made with Glee. In today's video, I am sharing with you how I put together my no maintenance fairy garden. There's no dirt in this fairy garden. Um, what I use for my little village, basically it started off at an old planter. You've seen one of these in my fairy garden tour. This is the second one. It's a, it was originally black. So I spray painted it in this bronze finish. Then the um, cocoa basket liners I got from the Dollar Tree. So I got three of those. And all the items I, you see me using are either from the dollar store or from Michael's 80% off Clarins for summer sale. So uh, basically I, what I started doing was I took newspaper because I still get my newspaper delivered. After I read them, I reuse it for lots of other things, such as cleaning windows um, in my garden. And here, I decided to use it as dirt, so I packed it as tight as I, you know, I wanted it to be into the basket. I then have this uh, sheet moss. It was I bought one package for about five dollars. Um, this Spanish moss is from the Dollar Tree. And basically what I did was I've been using this one sheet of moss for several different projects. So this is some leftover. I created like, it wasn't even perfect circles. It was just using the scraps that I had left over. I covered my lump of newspaper to make a base. Very simple, very easy. Just tuck. I mean, this is not... Uh, something if you have little kids if maybe you wanted to be extra secure you can put some glue to attach things to the side but I didn't do that I just kind of tuck everything in the way I wanted it to be the, the fairy houses again those came from Michaels um, and as you can see I had some empty spots around where the uh, mat didn't quite fit to the cocoa liner so this is where I'm taking Spanish moss and just tucking it in and it's also helping tuck the green moss mat a little bit further with the uh, cocoa liner so I go around doing the entire thing with that and then it's just basically decorating your fairy garden anyhow you like it now I use I made a little village so the houses are there were three houses that I got on Clarence at Michaels and that's what really inspired this entire project I felt that they went together oh this little mat of greenery I got in their regular Clarence section for two dollars I guess a lot of the uh, things had uh, fell out but I still decided to you know get it for two dollars and I'm using it as individual pieces instead of one uh, entire mat so I'm just pulling it apart further and I'm using it to tuck into different areas of my little fairy village so I'm gonna leave you guys just to watch me put this together I think it turned out beautiful I absolutely love it my um, resident gnomes and fairies also think that it turned out really great and quite a few of them have moved in right now the village is on my patio but let's say there's a hurricane coming or something like that it can easily be picked up and brought inside there is no need to water this fairy garden or anything like that and um, it's being protected by the elements so it's gonna last for a long time I'm quite happy with how this turned out if you guys have any questions about where I got any of the specific pieces again it was all Michaels and Dollar Tree maybe one of the gnomes came from Hobby Lobby I don't I'm not sure I don't think so I think all of these came from Michaels at their 80% um, after summer uh, sale and the little fairies again are from the Dollar Tree I think they be they came three in a pack something like that so I'll leave you guys to watch the rest of me putting together my little fairy garden it's one of the most fun relaxing things that you can do is creating your own little magical world if you have little kids it's especially fun if you don't and you're just a big kid like me it's just as much fun thank you guys for watching liking and subscribing enjoy have a good one.